Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. This video is for Limp Chicken. This is their tier four Patreon request. We are doing music from the game Warframe. I don't know anything about the game Warframe, but I literally scrolled down in the video description. And right here is something that says, what is Warframe? Join 70 million registered players in Warframe, a cooperative free to play third person looter shooter set in a constantly evolving sci-fi universe. And obviously for more information, go to Warframe.com. That sounds great. There's also some musician information, which is great. We can learn who wrote this and who's on the track. Written by Keith Power, Matthew Chalmers. Music production by Keith, Matthew, George Spanos, and Eric Preston. Lyrics by Keith, Matthew, and Adrian Bott. Vocals performed by Francesca Hauser. Cello is Kendra Gatani. Violins is Xiao Yang and Natasha Penny. And viola is Julian Altman. All right, I'm excited. Let's go. Dominus, oh Dominus, the rock of Antonio, his curse upon you. a minute in i just can't believe it but i can believe it um meaning playing video game music as a young person years ago you'd never hear this now granted obviously a lot of that is hardware related and just things had not been invented to support and just wasn't possible yet but sort of also the ideas i mean i feel like i'm in school and we're in a drop the needle test and we're listening to you know an opera singer with an amazing quartet well like trio but i mean two two violins uh viola and cello and I just would have never have thought this is where we'd be with video game music. It's amazing. You know what I think about? I think about Marco Meatball and what Marco would say because I know he's all about this stuff. Oh, God. The writing is so good. I don't speak the language. I don't know the story that's being uh, told here. So, obviously, I'm going to be lost there. But you can feel the passion that's interwoven into some amazing, like, writing choices within the string to support the vocal. I just want to go back. It's only been a minute. I know. This gorgeous lyrical opening. Tone painting. We, we very quickly know where we're going here. Domino. I'm sorry, but the vo this the way this resolves. One more time. This is so gorgeous. Ba -da -da -da. Oh man. Dominus. What an opening. Dominus. It just it's the way that rings against our low end notes here. Sorry. I know. Dominus. Hmm. Oh, Dominus. Da -da oh, God, dude. This is so good. I'd never have the brain. I'm not, I'm not smart enough to think of anything like this. Oh, Dominus. But uh, the unison on that, such good writing. His curse upon you. Dude, the articulations on the, the bow there, it almost it makes it sound it just felt like a, a bassoon for a second. Obviously it's not, it's just cello and viola with a or lower rich tones there, but man, it's just such it, it feels almost more than a string and voice experience. It almost feels a little bit symphonic in that aspect. His curse Jeez. Listen to the contour between cello and then hand it off to voice there. It is just wonderful. It's like, if you think like the, the literally, like you, li you listen to the cello voices and where they're leaping and then the voice leaps in the same manner. It's just, it's nothing mind blowing, but it's to a simple person like me, that stuff, it just makes me feel good. And I just appreciate what's being written here. So this, I really like this. Sorry, I know we're spending a lot of time in the first minute, but it just, it hit me in the feels. You know? 
We'll let it go. We'll let it go. Nice phrasing. Nice push of dynamic and arrival. Now, where do we go from here? God, I'm so glad there was no resolution to that suspension, by the way. <laughs> that was gorgeous. I love how the scene, I wasn't even really paying attention to the visual side of this because we're just geeking out on the listen, but I like how the scene changed, especially with the, uh, the, the, the hues that were kind of changed to like a, a solemn kind of gray blue. Um, oh my God, man, a feel changed. The vocals completely took us somewhere else and the string writing is just so... Ah, oh, Jesus. You just, just give me a little, okay, we're not going to, I will not do what we just did. I promise. Just a little bit, just a little bit though. A little quote though, in the beginning there. Nice. Listen to the difference in the way we're conveying the emotion from the tempo that we used in the first, I guess we'll call these movements, which is just the beginning of the piece. I don't know, whatever. We'll say this is the second movement. It's, it's not really, you know what I mean though? It's just, we're conveying such growth and development here. But you, you have to give credit to all everyone. God, I keep falling off my chair here. Sorry. <laughs> you have to give credit to how well this is composed and then the humans behind the parts that are playing this because that's why this there's, there's breath, there's life given to it. It's the phrasing and the shaping. The ideas on the page are amazing. Like they would sound great, but it's also the folks that are playing these ideas on the page and making the composer's ideas come to fruition, to life. Like it's, it's when you have moments like these, that's where music really, really matters and real play, people playing real music. That That's where this matters. We're not, you know, programming, we're not programming some voice. We're not creating something on a synthetic voice type of software thing and then putting that and having someone cover it later on. This is, Ideas to the page, and then those ideas come to life by real folks interpreting those ideas into an instrument that is inanimate by itself, but given life via the human. I know, kind of a, a dumb tangent to go off on, but this is where my brain goes when listening to stuff. Okay, so the second movement was gorgeous. Let's let's see where we go, because I'm not going to spend five minutes just stopping and starting every five seconds. I apologize. Here's our non-resolving non suspension here. Oh, 
right, man. So third movement or third section of the piece. Wow. By the way, we've been in three, four this whole time. Every piece has been in three so far, but that this one was the only one with much more of a, uh, we'll say within the context of this, this one had a groove, right? Like the pizzicato comes in, cello really giving us the role of bass. And then <laughs> it's just, man, it was happening. That was some very, very, very gorgeous pizzicato and string ornament writing with ornamentations to support the vocal layer. Just going to go back just a little bit, I promise. Just a little. Because what a transition this was. Listen to how, sorry, you can't listen because I'm blabbering. Listen to how seamless we come out of this chord and then into boom. Boom, 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 boom. One more time. Very schmaltzy. Just little pits underneath that and the bass line. That's all you need. That's all you need to set. The, we are just tone, tone painting. It's there. And then vocals come in. And it mimics the gorgeous melody of the violin. God. <laughs> it's just so good. I wasn't really... I'm about to say, what is Warframe about? But we we read it, what it was about in the beginning. You know, the 70 million registered players in a ever-evolving sci-fi. That's not what this is giving me. This is giving me tragedy and, like, adventure and love stories and something not great. And then we're here, and where where does it go? I, I'm getting a, a full-on experience. Now, maybe the game. Maybe the game is packed full. This is video game music, folks. Like, this feels so much bigger than that. I just think that gives honor to how far games have come or just where games have been this whole time and we're just discovering it i mean if you're a gamer that's not news to you i guess just on the outside for folks that have it i don't know i'm kind of rambling now but i'm just kind of taken aback by how good this is sorry i don't remember where skip ahead a little bit here i think i i think we missed a transition so we're just we're just going to go back a little bit here and see where this transition out of the third movement got so many chills okay the end of after our third movement or third sec hold on I'm, I'm not totally sold is this part of no this has got to be advertising for the game okay uh man at the end of that we really got some out of characteristic within the context of this piece the end the way the strings were used here and boy sorry i just i want i want all this one more time Kidenza, like not really, but just kind of within again the context of this, we get this kind of summary of what's happening. We have some ensemble hits within the strings, and then a very nice display of range within the the vocal is just amazing. And then we really depart from the uh, the kind of the waltzy three four that we've had this entire time between three different tempos to now more. There's like falling glissant, there's descending glissandos in the strings, and there's some like tritone things, a little more dissonance introduced than before. <laughs> We really depart. Big dominating bass lines on the cello. Wow. 
and then we get the mini music or whatever the other thematic music was. That was a great piece. Sorry, I know we're a little bit extensive on some of the rewinds and just going back and talking about it, but you know, and there was some rambling too, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, who cares what I think? I want to know what you think. Please and thank you. Let me know in the, down in the comments below. My name is Drumroll Tony. Catch me when I'm live on Twitch. Link for all the socials down in the video description below. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. If you did not like it, click the thumbs down button. Subscribe to the channel, though. We're almost at 200,000K. Thank you so much for the support. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Have a great day. Thank you so much for being here. Take it easy. Bye-bye.